Rightio, welcome everyone. So this is sort of the next in my videos for the Bluetti AC2A. So I'm going to look at some of the redundancies, how we actually can out in the bush charge this thing up. So we'll have a look at this, how to charge it up from solar. Um, so a couple of pitfalls and we'll go through those, but um, you can sort those all out. Um, uh, we'll also look at redundancy. So we've got the angle in the back of the back of the uh, car here that I that I have. Also got a rooftop tent which is electric as well. So we'll give it a go on that. So we'll see how it goes in charging, and also so we'll charge it off actually out of the car. See how it goes off that. Um, it's a little bit hard to actually unattach the. Uh, the uh, solar one from the roof of this unfortunately but um, but we can still do it through the uh, through the battery at the back and because um, that has charged from the actual um, uh, solar panel on the top of the rooftop tent up there so hope you enjoy and hope there's a couple of little tips in here and uh, see how this behaves uh, out in the bush even though we're not out in the bush at the moment but you sort of know what I mean Rightio, so the first bit of charging that we've got, and you'll see that the input's jumping around a little bit, because that's coming straight off the solar panel. So it's my box in the back of the car. Um, it's not going through the DC DC charger, so this is basically unregulated. Coming back through here, um, so I've attached, so usually you only get it to the uh, MC4 plug, so I've got an MC4 to add some plug. Uh, which allows me to use that as a charging port for it. So, as you can see, it's jumping out around a little bit. I'll just turn that on, sorry. Come on. Uh, which, is, which is expected. Uh, coming off this, the solar panel on the roof's around, rated for, I think, just a bit over 300 watts. So, I couldn't, this only has a capacity of 200 watts anyway. So, but obviously, that's going through system there so that can uh, so that's definitely a way of charging it from internal um, um, but I'll, I'll show you um, how I've done it with the other um, 200 watt uh, uh, fold it panels that, I, that I've got the one disappointing thing uh, unfortunately I tried to uh, get the electric rooftop tent open um, with this it just it just it, it, you could hear it trying to power it up but it just didn't have the power for it so that's something else that uh, I need to look at but the, again you need to consider in terms of understanding what it takes to lift the tent up and then you might want to get a, uh, um, a blue eddy with a little bit more oomph behind it you remember this is just the just the little baby the little bird outside so I hope uh, I hope that helps anyway. Cheers. Okay. All right. So we just got the solar panels. Now I thought these were 200, but I don't think they are because it's a sunny day. And it's only pulling out about 85, which suggests it might be a 100 watt one. Um, so just a quick thing with this that I've picked up. So that's how you can see the input uh, coming from this side. Uh, so the ch charging cables go into the MC4 here the only problem is that if you get a so I've got a Anderson plug connection here uh, to MC4 so what I've actually had to do is because this is in reverse so I've actually had to reverse this one because uh, the polarity was wrong so just a thing, just to pick up. So just to check if it, it might only be in Australia or something like that. But yeah, I just had to actually switch those two over um, to make this uh, make this run, which is interesting. So yeah, you can probably see flip that over there. Uh, yeah, so you got it's got negative and it's black and positive. Uh, positive red there but when you go into here the positive is negative there and positive there so just a little thing just to check um, but the good thing is when I did test it or well, chucked it all in and tested it before um, 
nothing came up, so it, the actual protection inter internally on the Blue Eddy actually protected the the, uh, the power um, power pack, so which is good. So it shows a good, good got good protection in it. Um, but yeah, just a, that's just a little thing we just sort of I've just picked up uh, with that. So just thought I'd share it with everyone. Just a little quirk. Okay, this is one of the redundancy tests I'm going to do. So I've just got my angle on the back there that usually runs off my battery here. Let's let's run through the solar panel there. So it's about a 40 litre angle. Um, so I'm going to leave it in here for about let's say 10 hours. So it's about eight o'clock in the morning there. Now it's running currently at about 1.1 degrees. So let's see how much juice. It does, and uh, we're sort of at the end of summer here. Well, not really at the end of summer, still with some really warm days here in uh, in Melbourne. I'll just turn it back on, sorry. Um, so we expect, it's not a really hot day today, a bit overcast, but it'll still get pretty warm in the car. You can see, I was at 16.3 at the moment. So let's turn that on and there you go, it's pulling about, there you go, about 80 watts at the moment. So yeah, I'll come back during the day and just see how it, uh, how it runs and see how long it uh, can run the fridge for. Cheers. Okay, so it is now... Ugh. 307 so what's that three this is about seven hours worth down to seven percent now so I'll actually switch that off as you can see it's pretty warm in the car it's getting up 35 degrees odd um, and yeah the, I suppose the main point is I'll run this through AC I've got a 12 volt I could run it through 12 volt as well so yeah so there you go about, uh, about a good seven say three seven hours not too bad